What's going on guys, Spark here, and we are back again with Skies and Scales. Uh, look at that proper etiquette. I like that. We play first, and we'll keep the hand. Um, now this deck is very, very weird. Um, it's going to be a lot different than what we usually do. Let's... Wanted to lower the sound just a tad bit. Okay. Scoot mob, scooty scoot mob. So we can go for a two-two flyer, or we can go for some mana XL. Now I'm going to go for the two-two flyer this turn because. Uh, the 2-2 two -two flyer is a bit more annoying, and we don't really have anything that we need to cast off the Coiling Oracle. It's basically just going to be 2 to draw a card and hope for a land. But uh, I think a lot of people are going to play this deck the wrong way. Um, I think the big thing that a lot of people are going to do is try and play it like the old green-blue deck, and it's not. It's more of like a uh, card advantage control type deck where you just want to keep your power going and you know, be annoying, not necessarily uh, like, oh I'm gonna drop this bomb. You kinda wanna just get card advantage. I don't know, it's kinda hard to explain. You kinda have to watch it and in action because clearly, I mean, right now we are set on what we have right now. So, I mean, I mean, I, I'm not making much sense, I don't think. Because <laughs> um, this isn't really the hand to show it off, but this hand works right. I mean, it clearly functions properly. Um, but no, there's a lot of synergy with like drawing cards and keeping your advantage up that makes your advantage stronger on the field. Between like the lower scale coddles and the over beings of myth and you know things like that. Now see, I'll let him cast that because I actually want him to attack me with the scoop mob, get in for that one damage, and I'll drop the mystic snake and kill it. No. Okay. We'll hold on to it. Do I want to drop the lower scale Connell? I mean, he's annoying. He's just super annoying. Yeah, we'll play him now. He's debating whether or not to play him, but we'll play him now. Oh, <gasps> it worked! Why did it work? Why does it work? Maybe it's only when you host a game that it works? Huh. It's interesting. Yeah, trade the scoot mob for that. I'll take it. That lower scale coddle is going to get out of control. Anything that he drops that's bigger, I'm just going to claustrophobia it until we can get the protein hauled out, Hulk out, and the protein Hulk will just be annoying. Now, I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep the protein Hulk in here. He's nice, but I don't think he's necessary. Um. Simply because he has a very high mana cost. I mean, the advantage is cool, and that might be the reason I keep him in there. But they're just going to chump block him. You know, it's just something you don't block to kill. It's just something you block to delay the inevitable. Yeah, let, let's let the coddle be annoying. Because that's what he's there for. But I'm actually going to put my hand on the keyboard, like a good Magic player would. And, uh... Let's see what we can get. Ooh, Maelstrom Pulse. I think I will save my counter for a Maelstrom Pulse. I don't know. I might not even. 
It might not even be worth it. I might just drop the Protein Hulk next turn and see if he can deal with it. I uh, discard a card. Now I'll get rid of the Claustrophobia. Because there's really nothing worth using that on. And I'm going to have to use that on that now. Just to keep my advantage up. And then we'll drop the Protein Hulk next turn and he'll have to pick what he wants to kill. Um, we might even be able to just kill him this outright. I don't think we will. But if he blocks bad, we can. Okay, that's fine. He'll gain some life back, and then we'll drop the Protein Hulk. And he can't kill that, or he just loses the game. Because I'll just get an overbeing of Myth. <laughs> oh, that's a good way to stall it, though. For sure. It also gives him no opportunity for a pulse, though. And... I'll get in for seven? I didn't play a land, so eight, nine. Ew, close. It's like almost there. He just needs to pick and choose what he wants to kill. So close. If that would have been a land that we drew there, we would have won. Alright. We know he's got the pulse. The pulses can only target one thing on my field. The deed can target one thing right now so we win if I just attack with my two flyers unless I don't draw a land because he might have a kill card Nope, there's the land. Cool. Oh, no. We don't get it this turn. Almost. I oh, shouldn't have done. Shouldn't have done that. I should have saved that for next turn to use with the ground swell. But my bad. Still getting used to the deck. He's got so many cards in his hand. Okay, that's fine.
He should have pulsed that. I wonder if he has the kill card for it. Um, doesn't look like it. Nope. Good game. That was interesting. Alright. So let's go on to game two with this guy. And... See if he wants to go again. Zyklon. But so, that wasn't the best hand for either one of us. I really didn't have any of my good cards in it. Okay. So this is interesting. This is this is one of the best hands that you can start with in this deck because it's annoying as hell. You can drop these Jesse and Infiltrators and be annoying and unblockable. And then you're gonna drop the quest after you turn turn three quests or so. And then when he attacks, we'll drop the Mystic Snake, ideally, assuming we draw another blue land. There we go. Um, and we'll make this super annoying, unblockable creature. That's a 6-6 six, six unblockable. Because you only have to remove one quest counter from him. So he's kind of broken, this quest of the Gem Blades. Which is probably my favorite part of it. That's why I'm playing it in the deck. It's because it's that powerful. You know, it's just one, one thing is all you need. So let's get in for some damage now. It'd be awesome if we can force him to use a kill card on this infiltrator. Like, if he has to use a Pulse now and we can drop the second Infiltrator, it would be amazing. But, I don't know if he'll want to waste a Pulse on one creature. And the creature definitely has the opportunity to get out of control and stupid broken because this is this is four counters on target creature. It's not just plus four, plus four until end of turn. It's four plus one, plus one counters. So it'll permanently be a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, that works too. Nice. Oh, that guy's fun. So we'll play him now. Again, because that should prevent him from attacking. This will get out of control, though. A more, more vague Simic Visionary. Just whenever I want, I can just draw a creature. And just progressively draw creatures, and progressively draw creatures. But we have to deal with that guy. So I really should have just kept my mana open. I just need to be able to get the counters on the uh, Mormir Vig. Which I should be able to do this turn. with the Mystic Snake, hopefully. Depends on what he does. I would like to counter a spell. Oh. So we will. Get at least a one for one out of this, and then that should make it so that he can only attack with one creature. Okay, cool. See, I'm completely okay with that trade. B 
because that's going to put a quest counter on that and that can now be activated whenever I see fit. Mm. Him, however. Do I want to just get him for the six? Or do I want to get in for two and then counter whichever creature he decides to target with the pack master. I think that's the right play. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Let's anticipate the move. Which one is it going to be? Okay. Hmm. Do I save it? I think I do. Hopefully we can get our use out of Choose a Wolf to do one damage to. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I can't target that one unfortunately. We're five, six. skip blocking and hope we draw a blue green creature because then we can get some real advantage going. That works. Um, so we want to keep the uh, advantage going and that's usually the best one to go is the wishful skelk because I can just play it again and get another creature and draw a card and keep some huge card advantage up. Not that I think we need it anymore because the Simic Sky Swallower should just end the game. But pretty much anything I drew there that wasn't a land was going to get me something. Play that land. Go on and play that land. You need to get a flyer out, buddy. So, unless you can deal with the flyer, I don't think you're going to go anywhere. Oh, another scoop mob. I'm terrified. They're starting to mob up on me. Scooty scoop mob been all over the place. Do, 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 do. I think we've got it. I think we played that one very well. Let's see what happens, though. I mean, he might... I don't, I don't think he has anything that could possibly stop me. I don't think... No. Cool. The 6-6 six, six unblockable is just super overpowered. Cool. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut the first video here. And we'll be back with four more. Three more. Three more. We'll be back with three more, guys. So, see you in a bit.